Hi everyone, it's Terry. I have to say that the update 4.03 is a big update. And because of that, it's taken quite a while for my machine to download the file. In fact, if you look here, it hasn't downloaded at all. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and get this update from my PC onto a USB stick. Let me show you how I do that. The first thing I want to do is to go to the support page at Brothers Support for my machine. When I originally bought my machine, I purchased an XP1. Although I do have two upgrade kits on the machine. So what I'll do is I'll choose to go to Download Drivers at the Online Solution Center. Now, when I go to download my drivers, what I want to do is to choose my operating system. I happen to have Windows and I have Windows 10. I'll choose OK. There is an, an option to update the software and then there's also an option to update the built-in tutorials for videos. What I'll do first is download the file to update the software. It will tell me if I need to also update my videos. So I'll go ahead and click on update software. You notice that this is 646 megabytes. Let's choose update software. You have the option to read the agreement that's on the screen. I'll go ahead and agree to this. And then what I want to do is to select to download this file. You'll notice over here that it's downloading the file into my downloads folder. Now you'll see the name of the file is XP underscore version 403. After you download the file, you want to locate the file on your computer. I'll go into my folders and I'll locate my downloads. And you notice I've actually downloaded it twice. You want to make sure if you've done this that you have the file that does not have a copy, meaning a, num a, a number one in parentheses after it. So what I'll do is take this file and copy it to my USB drive. I can just drag it to my USB drive and it'll copy it there. Now it'll take a little bit of time to copy it to the USB drive because it is a large file. Give it a moment and when it completes the copying, then we'll install it on the machine. Now I'll look at my USB drive. You can see the file is in the USB drive. This is the time for you to make sure you eject this file from your computer by right clicking and choosing Insert eject. the USB stick. I have mine in the top USB slot. And now I need to hold down the auto thread button and turn my machine on. I continue to hold that button until I get this screen. Now I want to select the USB drive that I'm using and press load. As you can see, we're about 90% complete. I expect this to complete fairly quickly after this point. Once it completes, we may get a message stating that we need to install new videos. If you do get that message, what you need to do is to download the videos to a USB as well and you go through the same process. So I'll go ahead and turn my machine off. I'll turn it back on. Okay. 
carriage is going to move. And what we want to do is go into our settings pages, which are, let me adjust my camera a bit, right here. And we want to verify that our update is the last update. So we'll just go backwards. You see the last version is 4.0 and my new update is installed. If you have any questions about this, and by the way, this is page 12 of 13 on your settings menu. If you have any questions at all, please make sure you're a member of our Facebook group, Just Stitching with the Brother Luminaire. And by the way, if you're not a subscriber, I, I appreciate if you subscribe to my videos. I will be recording videos for the upgrade and uh, some other videos as well on PE Design 11 and sharing files with your Luminaire. Thanks so much and have a great day.